What is the crack, lads? Welcome to our Argentina pack review. So today, Konami dropped a load of new packs. You've got Argentina, Brazil, Japan, and France. These are premium packs, same as the the same as the national team packs that they have released before, and it's the same as these packs that they've released for the clubs. So yeah, we're going to go through them one by one. We are going to start with Argentina. Uh, there are a couple of talking points in this, but we are going to highlight three players that I think are worth. You know, if you are going to get in this pack, you probably are getting it for Messi. Um, and, you know, maybe that's probably the main reason. And I would probably recommend if you have got the coins and you want to spend the coins, you don't need to. I mean, you can buy players uh, for GP uh, that are, you know, are going to like not stop you from competing and being an absolute beast at the game and getting to Division 1 and doing all the objectives and stuff. But obviously Messi is Messi, Neymar is Neymar. You know, you do obviously want the best players in the game. So if you are staying free to play, uh, there are really good alternatives. Check out some of my hidden uh, gem budget videos on the channel and make sure you're subscribed as well. We will be live streaming later, as I said. But yeah, Messi is probably the main reason. But I would say that there's two other players on this list as well that are definitely worth if you are getting this pack. Now it is 1,500 coins, so it is quite expensive. Uh, but we are going to go through it fairly quick because there's a lot of players to review today. So uh, I want to have a voice at the end of it so my voice doesn't go. But anyway, we are going to start with Molina. This guy's a right back and this guy's a bit of a monster. That's 35 levels that he can go. Absolute beast. Um, so you're going to have 90 speed, 90 acceleration. You're going to pretty much have dribbling and low pass up in the 80s as well. His defensive side of the game is going to be a little bit lacking, but he does make up for it with a couple of uh, player skills, interception and fighting spirit. He does have unwavering form as well. This guy looks the part. He's got 35 levels to go. He doesn't have any crossing. He does Well, sorry, he has pinpoint crossing and early crosser here, but I think the biggest thing that you're going to be using with this guy is kind of going forward, kind of like a Roberto Carlos type player. So I would definitely check him out. If you have got this pack, he can play right mid as well. He is one of the gems of this pack. Next up, we've got your fairly bog standard goalkeeper, Martinez. Don't need to spend too much time on him. Listen, if you don't have one of the top five goalkeepers in the game, like you, you probably need to upgrade it if you are leaking goals because the way that the game plays, there's a lot of rebounds. Obviously, we have to test out V2.2, but there are a lot of rebounds. There's a lot of interceptions. And even the best keepers like Oliver Kahn, Donnarumma, they're going to make mistakes like you know what i mean so it doesn't really make a difference unless you have one of the top 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 class keepers i think martinez is probably going to be replaced quite easily dibella is up next again i featured dibella a pretty uh, decent review for him uh, a couple of weeks back with one of the packs he was on the nominating contracts this guy's got inconsistent form even though he's on b rating which shouldn't be too much of an issue this week i think the b form is gonna upset his card a little bit uh, or the inconsistent form i should say sorry lads his speed and acceleration you're going to have to play this guy in the hole and unfortunately ss players unless you're going to be finesse shooting you're not really going to get the benefit out of them compared to playing two center forwards or a really fast center forward up front as well tagliofico this guy is on e rating so he's kind of a write-off this week he does have unwavering form he has interception and this guy's more of a kind of again uh a guy that's going to be getting crosses into the box, early cross or pinpoint cross. And you can see with some of these cards, lads, the way the meta is kind of going to be going. It's hopefully going to suit me with my out wide play. We will see later on in the stream. Uh, but yeah, a very good player as well. You know, what you're getting with these guys are, you know, players that you could slot in. They've got lovely team play style proficiency that you can play with any manager. And there are changes coming to the managers as well, which we'll get into in another video later on when they do drop that news. Uh, next up, we've got De Maria. Again, one of my favorite players to use. He is a really, really good player. I will be getting him into my squad quite soon, but he has unwavering form, but he has an on a C rating. Really good player skills. Expected a big World Cup out of De Maria as well. So yeah, I mean, very good feet. Can play anywhere across the middle of the pitch as well as any of the wings so pretty decent as well all right next up we have got Romero who's obviously playing for Tottenham um this guy yeah again pretty similar to any of the kind of younger center halves in the game like you know they've got nice uh nice defensive skills 
and then a little bit lacking on acceleration and speed. So again, if you already have got a lot of good centre backs, like I would say the likes of Koundé is going to be better than this guy. I would say obviously Marquinhos, uh, Kimpembe, a load of guys like that are going to be better than him. But like at the end of the day, lads, you are buying this pack for a ready-made Argentina team and to you know maybe use in the events and stuff like that. So he's not going to let you down if you max him out at 19 levels. Now, first up on our eFootball DB comparison, we are going to head over with Lataro Martinez because this guy... I've never really given him a proper chance, but like looking at his stats here, I think this could be the time to give him a chance this week. He's on B form, he's got a wavering form, B rating, he's got 22 levels to go, which we'll show you here in a second. Uh, I did a video about alternatives for Romario, and Martinez is extremely similar to Romario. Uh, he's very, very similar in how he how he actually plays so over here on eFootballDB.com, everything has been updated for v2.2 so head on over and check that out i mean if i was boosting this guy up i'm not going to be really too concerned about his dribbling or anything like that i'm more going to try and turn him into like romario right so for that we do need to put a lot of points into things that you know the speed you know we're not going to get him up to that level that that romario is at obviously he does go to 93 it is a pity that his speed isn't a slight bit better. Like if he had 88 acceleration and maybe 88 finishing, I think he would be a god card. Like he would be definitely a Romario replacement. But the dribbling uh, is an issue for him. That's a big issue for that card. I know we have one more that we can put in to bring it up to 80 ball control and uh, 78 dribbling. But yeah, there are better probably alternatives on there as well. Um, as well as a couple of his other cards as well that have been there before. So yeah, he's not a bad player. He does have some nice player skills and stuff, as you would expect from him, long-range shooting. But yeah, he definitely is one to try. I just would have liked to see that card kind of extended a bit more. Now, we will leave Paul till last because we are going to feature him and Messi over on eFootballDB as well. We've got Paredes here, who goes to 26 levels, again, unwavering form. He's also got a lot of player skills, interception, true passing, weighted pass, all the good stuff that you could possibly want from your uh, center midfielder or your dmf this guy's obviously an anchorman defensive awareness is quite low for an anchorman i would definitely rather uh barrios for fifty thousand gp if you're going to be getting this guy because of his height and his weight um and the way he moves around the pitch but yeah a good passer uh not bad defensively with aggression and tackling but there are way better alternatives out there for him unfortunately for uh paridas and then otamendi one of Argentina, Argentina's main men this year in the World Cup. Uh, I know he's loved by the coach from everything that you read. And he is an absolute beast. He's got 89 aggression. That's going to top out at like, you're going to top that out at maybe, like that's going to be probably 90 overall, lads, to be honest, because he's got 20 levels to go. You're not going to be focusing on speed or acceleration with this card. It's going to be pure defense. So, you know, be pumping up maybe 18 levels up into defense or maybe 15 levels into defense there. Uh, that's probably what I would do with him. But yeah, again, very slow. Um, but he does have blocker. He does have interception. He does have man marking and heading. And he does have unwavering form. Even though he's on D rating, he could be a very solid player to try when his rating goes up if he has a good World Cup. Now, we are going to look at DePaul here as well. So DePaul is obviously 83 overall. This guy is one of the most underrated players in Dream Team. I've come up against him a few times and I've always struggled. I've come up against David, Sadarf, I've come up against Makalele, Vieira. But this guy, DePaul, always seems to give me trouble and score against me. And uh, he just has a really cool card, like a very unique card, especially this one. Because if you look at his stats there, right? Defensively, obviously, he's not going to be defensive or anything like that. But he's still got 72 engagement. Speed, he's not going to be a speed freak, but he's still mid-70s in the speed. And then passing and dribbling is all high 70s. Like, that's practically 80 for his passing and dribbling, right? His balanced stamina is really good. So, the player skills he has, you've got double touch, control, soul control. Then you've got true pass away to pass, pinpoint crossing. Then you've got long range curler and low lofted pass, as well as fighting spirit and unwavering form. So, this guy's a very unique card very unique blend of player skills and attributes and when you actually head over here to eFootballDB.com we can train him up in a multitude of ways like you put a you put a couple into his passing you put a bit into his dribbling you put a bit into his speed 
and you put a bit into his uh, acceleration, and you're literally going to have, look at the stats that you have here, man. Like, absolutely insane player to carry the ball forward. You could even put in four into defending just to bring up that defensive engagement a little, just to help out with the aggressiveness of him in midfield. But yeah, that is a seriously good card, lads. Absolutely insane card. His passing stats don't even need to be that high. I would probably leave that down at that, and you could pump up more into the defense to get up the defense a little bit as well. If you are playing him as a pure box-to-box -box carrying the ball forward, you can, of course, pump that that into speed and acceleration to have that and i mean this guy looks the part like he looks absolutely insane this card especially there have been other versions of him out as well but i think this is probably the best one and then last but not least we have Lionel messi who is an 89 overall attacking midfielder but he goes 21 levels as you see here his card is really really good lads absolutely insane is he as good as the legend card i don't think so it remains to be seen it depends your play style definitely depends your play style he does have some lovely player skills on wavering form he's on b form as well this week with the live update and then in terms of training him up i think if you're not using messi to shoot i think you're kind of missing out and this is the problem with the card especially as an amf I would definitely, you know, be boosting up this. His passing stats aren't the highest for his base. His dribbling is good. You don't really need to touch that too much. But his speed is probably where you need to bring that up the most. Just his acceleration. You don't need to do anything crazy with it. But that card, lads, is absolutely incredible. I would probably, if it was me, I would probably put up his shooting maybe one or two more. I know that that would bring it up to 90 place kicking and uh, set piece taken and 91 curl. But I think that's probably enough at that. And then probably leave the passing maybe at like that. Uh, or else, you know, depending on how you wanted to dribble with him, you could put the dribbling in there. So, yeah, you are going to get one of the best cards ever with Messi there. And if you don't have Messi already and you don't want to spend the money to get him on GP because he is about what? I think he's like 740,000 GP, as it says there. So, yeah. But let me know what you guys think. I'll be back later with another review, and uh, we'll have Brazil up next. Until next time, lads, peace.